So in regard to the Pluto return for the U.S., which in some sense is happening this year by exact degree, but as I said in the previous video, really spans through a period of time starting in 2020, 2021, and going all the way to 2024, 2025, by taking into account exact degrees, precession, etc. Returns are very important and they signal the end of a chapter, new chapter, new era. However, even more important than the return itself is the cycle of the planet as it's going around that orbit and making aspects to other planets. In particular, when you can notice that the position of the natal Pluto is less problematic than when it's in earlier degrees, because when it's in earlier degrees, for example, in the 15, 16 degree range, 17 degree, that's when it was exactly opposite the precessed corrected position of the U.S. sun, which correlates with when Trump came on the scene. This makes perfect sense because Trump brings in the energy of a, a wish for authoritarianism and in his mind, literally being the king, being the dictator, being the sole source of authority and power. And this is something that Pluto on the dark side, so to speak, can definitely connect to. And so it makes perfect sense that it would happen at that time. By the way, it's one of the many markers that I've used to convince myself of the efficacy and power of precessed positions when looking at transits. In the case of individuals, this tends to be less relevant because it's one degree by age 72, but for a country that is nearly 250 years old, there's a three plus degree difference. And so it means that the the exact transits are delayed considerably. However, if we look at Pluto in its transit, it goes through there. And then as we reach the 2020 period, it's opposing Mercury, which is the aspect that it had at birth as well. At the birth of the country, Pluto is 27 plus, Mercury is 24 plus. There's an opposition there between Pluto and Mercury. This, to my mind, is a really good reflection of the racial issue in this country. It was born under this because the founders wrote a beautiful document in which they spoke about all men being equal and a wish for a perfect union. However, they were slave owners and it would be another close to 100 years before the issue was addressed by Abraham Lincoln and we had to go through a civil war and you could argue that even today, 246 years later, the problem continues, though in my opinion it has improved. However, it correlates very well with that Pluto-Mercury opposition. You notice that we get to 2020, which is when Pluto is opposing the degrees of Mercury, and we have Trump increasing his desire, his efforts, his focus on staying in power as an autocrat at all costs. However, he did not succeed.